Hi, audience. Welcome to Stories with Sapphire. I'm your at the Sapphire. Because of my schedule, I was unable to add animations to this episode, but I still wanted to make sure you got the chills this week. Please enjoy the following story, inspired by an urban legend from Russia. And now, it's story time. In a small town in Russia, there lived a woman and her young daughter. One day, the young girl told her mom that she wanted to learn how to play piano, so they went to the music shop on her birthday. The girl was immediately drawn to a gorgeous, shiny, grand piano in the back. Her mom wasn't so thrilled when she saw the price tag. She told her daughter that she needed to pick a less expensive one, but the girl was insistent and began to cry. She stopped sobbing when the employee door opened and out stepped an elegant old lady. She told the girl she couldn't help but overhear. The mom apologized, embarrassed that her daughter had caused a scene. But the old lady told her that if her daughter really wanted the piano, she could offer her a deal. The mom could pay off the piano in reasonable small installments in however many months she needed with absolutely zero interest. It was way too good to be true. The mother asked what was in it for the old lady, to which she replied that the gift of music should not be reserved for the wealthy. It belongs to everyone. The old lady leaned down to the girl's eye level and added, all I ask is that you remain dedicated, my dear. It's not going to be easy, but don't give up. The mother was already drowning in so much high interest credit card debt but she could not resist the deal. Her daughter jumped up and down with joy when the piano was delivered to their home. She began practicing right away. Day in and day out, she pounded away on those keys. Her mom didn't love the new noise, but nothing made her happier than seeing her daughter happy. After a week, the girl began to complain that her fingers hurt. Her mom assured her that it was just from playing so much. Another week passed, and the girl was still in pain and wanted to take a break. Remember what the lady told you, her mother reminded her. Don't give up, especially when it gets hard. The girl reluctantly obeyed and continued to practice. It was getting harder every day. The girl felt weak and tired. She wanted to give up, but she didn't want to let her mother down. Then, one day, she heard a loud thud the keys stopped working. The girl ran to her mother and told her that the piano was broken and it wasn't her fault. Her mom tried to keep her composure as she called the lady at the music shop to see if she could fix it. The old lady was kind enough to come fix it for free. When she came to the house, she asked that she be left alone while she repaired the piano so she wouldn't be distracted. Piano strings are under a lot of tension and it can be dangerous if she made a mistake. So the mother and her daughter left the old lady alone to work. The piano was good as new again, and the girl continued to practice every day, even though her hands never seemed to heal. She was also getting incredibly thin. After another few weeks, the piano broke again. This cycle repeated itself over the next couple of months. The piano would break, the old lady would come fix it, the girl would continue to practice until the piano would break again. The young girl was much paler now, bonier too. But because the change happened so slowly over such a long period of time, her mother didn't notice. When the piano broke again, the old lady came over and just like before, the mother and daughter waited in the other room while she worked. The mother was trying to understand how such an expensive and high quality piano would keep breaking like this. She was beginning to suspect that the deal was a scam to sell crappy pianos to suckers. So she crept up to the doorknob of the living room and peeked into the keyhole to see what the old lady was doing. 
She stifled her gasps as she watched the old lady pull out a glass jar of red liquid from the piano and guzzle it down. After the old lady left, the mother examined the piano closely. It was then that she discovered tiny needles in the keys, barely visible to the naked eye. And underneath the keys were tubes that led to a glass jar sitting on a lever. It all made sense to her now. Whenever her daughter played the piano, it would drain her of her blood in such little increments at a time that she couldn't tell it was happening. When the jar filled, it would trigger a lever that stopped the keys from working and the old woman would come to collect the blood. The mother was ashamed to have fallen for another predatory deal. She immediately had her daughter cease playing and reported the old woman to the authorities. The mother made a vow to never let anyone slowly bleed her or her family dry again. If you don't want to be subtly bled to death, like this video and subscribe to my channel. To submit your own stories, send it to storieswithsapphire at gmail.com. For more spooky, supernatural, and spiritual stories, listen to the Stories with Sapphire podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like what you saw and would like to support this independently run show, head over to patreon.com slash storieswithsapphire to learn more. Until we meet again, Sleep tight.